Welcome in YouTube, how are we doing today? My name's Brovers and today I'm going to be talking to you about live redirects. I recently did a short on this, but I had a comment drop from the Ben site who suggested maybe visuals would help on a longer form video. So today, that's what we're going to talk about and I'm going to show you how to configure it. For those who don't know what live redirects are, they're basically YouTube's answer to the Twitch raids. Basically allowing you, when you finish a stream, to send your viewers to another creator you deem worthy to have your community be a part of. What a great idea, right? And what a way for new discoverability on our channels. It couldn't be better. Well, now the big question is, how do I set up live redirects? How do I configure them? Where does it all happen? Well, it's all done in YouTube Studio. I'm about to show you on my page and it couldn't be simpler. Welcome in, welcome to my YouTube Studio page. And this is it. This is how simple it is to set up live redirects. You literally go to settings, community, you should know this page quite well. It's where you add all your moderators and where you block all the lovely YouTube bots. Just below there is live redirects. And this bit is easy. You have three choices. All channels, which I've selected because I like anyone being able to redirect to me. Channels I subscribe to. So basically anyone you subscribe to can redirect to their content to you. And there is the option for manual channels. So if I untick this, all you have to do to add a specific channel is find a channel you want, like so. Welcome to the Ben site, ladies and gentlemen. You paste in here, it will find their channel, click, that's it. And then you just hit save. And depending what option you choose, will allow people to find you and redirect to you when they finish their live stream. It's as simple as that. Now the question is, okay, so I have my redirects out, but how do I redirect to people? This also gets easier. This is the next bit. So. All you have to do for this bit, let's get back into the studio page. Okay, so I said YouTube Studio, what I meant was my latest stream setup. So you've got a stream set up, you're ready to go, it's all good, it's all set for the time, you've got all the details in there and you're ready to kick it off. But there is a, tick, a little tick box that you can use. If you go into edit settings, customization, scroll down a little bit, you will find redirect. Now, all you have to do is click add. This will search for videos that are already either live or going at the moment, but you can also search for videos on other channels directly. Now, as you see instantly, there's currently two people streaming that I know, a nice Rex Sterling and Dobsy. All you have to do is at that point, then click that user's channel, it'll add it in there, and then you do save. And as soon as you finish your stream, that's it. It redirects all your viewers over to that page. But you might ask, what if I change my mind during a stream? What if I want to sort of change this afterwards? You know, I've got to the end of my stream and I'm like, mm, I don't know if that person's still alive now. Can I redirect somewhere else? Yes, you can. You literally come back to this part on YouTube studio and you do the same thing. You edit, you can do a search, or you can manually go and look on YouTube for a channel that's live, copy and paste that link, paste it into that box for live redirects. And that's it, Bob's your uncle, we're done. Couldn't be simpler, right? Could not be simpler, but not enough people are utilizing this and they need to be. There's so much possibility here for discoverability and I want everyone to really enjoy this. Have it set up, because who knows? I might be raiding you next, you don't know. Okay, so we set up live redirects. Couldn't it be easier, right? You're done, it's all good. The question is, how beneficial is it? And actually, it's so beneficial, especially on YouTube. Discoverability is not an easy thing to do. It's hard to be seen, it's hard to be found. But with the option of live redirects, we are able to now share communities with other channels that you know we enjoy or we think have the right vibes. And it's something that we can do as creators to help other creators again now. This wasn't something we had previously and it's always been very hard to recommend channels to anybody. But now, as soon as you click end that stream, everything gets pushed to the other creator. And that discoverability is huge, whether you send it to a new creator, someone you know really well who's established, or just a friend. It's a real good boost, and it's introducing stream viewers to other streamers out there on YouTube. And that is so important, especially when it's so hard to be seen in this day and age. So this is why I think it's really important that we all have this configured, because we're doing our bit to help with discoverability for other creators, and for ourselves. Because if you haven't got it turned on, no one can redirect to you. And that's exactly why it's a good thing. Thank you for watching the video, everyone. If you enjoyed this and it was helpful, do not forget to drop a like. And if you are new here and you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more stuff coming up. If you have questions or you want another tutorial done, let me know in the comments. And actually, speaking of the comments, if you've been redirected to or you've done a redirect, let me know. I want to hear your experience. So yeah, drop it in the comments, please. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.